Welcome back, everybody, to Woonsocket, Rhode Island, and Walnut Hill Bowl. We are here for the round of four of the I Am Bowling powered by Logo Infusion Senior Open. Bruce Hall here with you. Once again, joined by my broadcast partner and solo artist tomorrow, Brian Gaskill. Hey, Brian. Hey, Bruce. And the proprietor here at Walnut Hill, Mr. Robert Toth. Hey, Robert. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming back, and uh, thanks for the commentary. And I will note that all three of our horses that we chose in the round of eight are still in, and that would include the rather high odd and high return Bob Green, picked by Robert Toth, and then Kirker, picked by Mr. Gaskill, and then, of course, the low-risk option, Bill Webb, chosen by myself. So here we go. It'll be Webb against Green here on 19 and 20. And it'll be Tim Elsis, which nobody took, who might have the best look in the building. He may have. Uh, against Kirker. And that'll be on 17 and 18. So we are here for the round of four. After this, we'll move over to 21 and 2. We're on 17, 18, 19, and 20. We'll go to 21 and 2 for the final, which has not been used since the qualifying. And we do not re-oil anymore for single squad tournaments as we determined at the uh, annual meeting last year, which is a very smart move in my opinion. And here's Bob Green coming Ooh. up for a six pin. I don't think, is that the purple? Yeah. Yes. That is the purple, okay. So get that to, it was a little more hook than I thought I saw. I thought he was throwing it harder, a little more left and straighter, but it's He was Green's. slower that time. Was he? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Gas, tell us about that the pattern. This is Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. Not to be confused with New Orleans. Yeah. Uh, 40 feet in distance with a 7.67 to 1 ratio and uh, 23.45 mils. And like low. we said, it, it hooked. Low volume. Low volume. It yeah. hooked. And they tamed down as the day went on. And mm -hmm. the scores, they, you know, they the cut was going up like 15, 20 a game for the first few games. And then all of a sudden it jumped 40 one game. But yeah, then it leveled off again. 54 to 94 from game three to four. And then game four then to five, it leveled off again. But, you know, so with a small field and you're only dealing with yeah. 12 guys making the cut, all it takes up and down. one or yeah, two guys to bowl down. a good game or a bad game. To you, never, you never know. Right. You never know. So yep. Anyway. The cut can change fast in a small field like that. Well, great to see you all with us. If you could share the feed, we can get some uh, viewership up here. Definitely odd That'd for us. Awesome. We don't have many Saturday streams, so I'm sure people aren't I was going to say, that's it, fine. No. It's, all, it's all good. It's good to see everybody here. Looking forward mm -hmm. to that non-champs tournament. It's always exciting. Yeah. Crown a new champ. I think uh, we're going to have a pretty good turnout, too. Um, I've, heard, I've heard some good numbers here. And uh, Obviously, 6 o'clock p.m. tonight, if you want to come down and uh, sign up for that squad, you can. And what's the pattern for that one, Gas? Just, I could just started looking it up. Uh, okay, uh, um, it is the 2018 SYC Open, which I don't even know what that tournament that is. is but Syracuse, is it? Uh, it SYC. is 42 feet in distance with a 7.26 to one ratio and 25.28 mils. So a little, a little more oil, hopefully a little more hold. And again, these are supposed to both be standard or recreational patterns. We use those phrases interchangeably. Uh, right. Which means at least Anything seven over to seven one. to one, right? Yeah, well, that's all it is. So, <laughs> it's not like we're walling it up with neon at thirteen to one. You know, <laughs> here, no, this was me. definitely not this your. Uh, this did not act. This did not play like a wall at all. I no, mean, and you got fifty. What was it? Fifty? How many? Fifty-two? Fifty-three? Fifty-four entries. Yeah. And the yeah. the highest guy was shot one hundred fifty over. Yeah, that's it. Right. I mean, right. two thirty. Two thirty right. a game was high. Yeah, and the cut was ninety over, so everybody was very compressed in that in that area. So. And Kirker was the cut, shooting 220 and 230 his last two uh, to shoot 1090. Uh, Larry King snuck in with a 258 uh, to shoot exactly 100 over and make it. And uh, those two collectively bumped out Robert Toth and myself. So thanks a lot, guys. How rude. Yeah, I'm going to talk to Kirker after, you know. I'm going to have to ch talk with him about that. No, J John is just so good uh, all the time. He's consistent. I, I do like him on this pattern. Uh, we could see a Kirker Webb uh, final. That would be Ooh. unbelievable, except for the announcer's curse. Yes. As soon as we say that, 
That is now a 3 4 So our six, old seven. tournament director, Joey, just chimed in and said, SYC is Storm Youth Challenge. Oh. So if that's what it is, then Thank you, Joey. you're smarter than me. <laughs> Joey <laughs> no tournament. idea. Joey chiming in, NEBA tournament director for many years. Ran the club very, very capably. And there's Bob Green <coughs> moving Ouch. in. Got some hold, but that's in for an eight pin. That's where, that's, I was never that far left where he's playing. <laughs> I was inside of that all day. And here's Kirker taking a shot at this split. Can't make it. But that was the curse put on him, thinking that he would, could be with Webb in the final. So do, will Bill Webb win his first ever? He, could he go one for one in senior events? He bowled the one in Auburn, didn't he? I'm not sure, actually. The I one should, that Bob I should Green probably won. check that. I, I think the one that Bob Green won. I should Bill probably check that. Because yeah. he's that wasn't the one yeah. he said, I'm going to get my fifth tournament so I can bowl to Cambridge. Oh, you him. might be right about that. Yeah, you might be right. I think I'm pretty sure that's right. We need uh, Forey. Forey is the master of I this, used to be because I used to bowl all the time and I remembered I everything. Like right. I, I can, I, I, I'm on the live stream and I can't remember. I talked to stuff. So, I'm so bad. I talked to Lich about stuff that happened in the 90s like it was yesterday, but I can't remember what happened two months ago. Well, it's funny. I'm on the live stream. I, I, I call the matches, but they don't register for some reason. I don't I don't really remember them very well. You know, maybe I'm I'm kind of outside my my mind of calling it, but not remembering it. So. Well, or you're in that super senior uh, bracket. Well, thank you. I, I, I didn't yeah. want to admit that, but that <laughs> may be part of it. But uh, great Ooh. shot there by Bob Green. And I've got a one pin match here with Webb and Green. And Kirker has opened against Elsis, so it's going to give Elsis the 15-pin lead in that match early on. Once again, we'll move over to 21-2 and two after this. It has not been used since the qualifying. And we'll see what the reaction will look like there. And as we said, guys, it's, it seems like every game they bowl, the back ends get mellower, and the hold gets more defined. Yes. shot there by Webb. So Robert, how's business? How are things doing down here? Well, business has been good. Yeah. Uh, you know, of course, we all went through the COVID thing, and yeah. uh, it yeah. was really devastating, but uh, well, every the, bowling the center, bowling business yeah. has bounced back, good, and good, most good. centers are busy. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. I know Strike FX is busy. Every yes. pro shop is crazy busy, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you host two Strike FX locations, right? Yes. Oh, oh well, no. Uh, actually, oh, uh, Custom Pro Fit is here, and oh, okay. Mountain, Excuse Old me. Mountain is... Uh, yeah. Okay, well that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, two different, uh, yeah, two different ones. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, John Van. He's mostly down at Old Mountain, right? Yes. Yeah. He lives, of course, he lives down in South County, so. Right. Yeah. We see a lot of him. No, that's way Oops. left by Webb. That might have been the most left shot I might have ever seen him throw. You know, it's so easy when you know you got to pitch it to the spot. It's sometimes easy to start that pitch early and get get around it. And Yank it. I know I did that a number of times today. No excuses. And let's see what Kirk Something Kirk does not do. And lays it out and flushes it. Great shot there. He's going airborne. Yep. So you got a lot of summer leagues coming up? What's going on there? We have, we have some leagues. Uh, looking good. Looking like it's going to be a strong summer. Good. Good, good, good. So glad to hear people recovering from this COVID thing. I know a lot of centers got just got wiped out. A lot of closures. Not yeah. not so much maybe in New England, but around the country. You didn't see so much in New yeah. England. I, I, I know what you mean. But, you know, bowling centers just don't have a lot of extra cash lying around. So when, once you close, those you fixed know. costs keep going. And after a year or two, can't keep it up. So this, this bowling center here uh, back in 2006 was a BRC center. Oh, and, interesting. And... Uh, they were within days of closing permanently, and really? I was able to negotiate a deal and, and come in here. Uh, Look at in 2006. you! I did yes, not so know that. That's interesting. Wow. Now yeah. that's like Lola was a BRC center as yes. well, right? They had some yeah. other Brunswick centers. Well, they had there. they had quite a few around at the time. Yeah. Uh, you had Lowell. You had Parkade, uh, here. Manchester. They had uh, you had Warwick Lane. Wallingford. That, that was out. Wallingford. Yeah. Down there. Yeah. East Providence Lanes at one time was a BRC center. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, whatever was left of those BRC centers are now Boleros, right? Yeah, well, so. Brunswick, I mean, Brunswick got out of bowling, basically. Yeah. The, the the Brunswick Corporation, there is a Brunswick Bowling now. but Big shot there by Bob Green, doubles. 
and takes the lead by nine over Webb. And that was a big shot. Kirker was trying to make up for that open and catch up to Elsis, but left a flat ten. So we were happy to be able to save bowling in this city. Yeah. That's a good thing for the city to have. Well, 32-lane center's got to be a little bit more... You can work with that a little more than like a 50-lane center, right? 40, yeah, well, yeah, 50 sure. Whatever it yeah. is, you know what I'm saying? So, But this place is so nice. I mean, what's this lane surface? This is the uh, Brunswick... This is Brunswick Anvil Lane. Anvil Lane, not, in the, pro lane. No, so not, not pro the Pro Lane. No, it's not Pro Lane, Yeah, yeah. okay. Because it doesn't have the tracers. Right. Down lane, right. So it's a little softer than Pro Lane, would you say? It's a... I think it's a little thinner panel. Th the I panel is slightly thinner than yeah. the Pro Lane panel. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know if that was true back then or what that was. So There's only one factory that manufactures every single bowling lane now. You know that. Between the Glow Lane, SPL, or HPL, whatever they're calling well, it these days. Well, at one time they were done in Maine, weren't they? They was. It's yeah. That's where yeah. it is. Okay. And, and it's either Pro Lane or Anvil Lane. Yeah. Like, glow, like a lot of the Bolero centers are put in this Glow Lane, right? Which might be this, actually. Right. But, however... Yeah. These panels are a solid phenolic panel. Yeah. Versus, say, like a, an HBL or something like that where you have that sandwiched, uh, you have the wood in the right. middle. And, and right. Uh, they're, they're subject that to that delamination, would, yeah, in my opinion. You exactly know. right. I was gonna just going to say that. You see it all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, you see them those lanes delaminating and coming up. And Elsa's beautiful shot. Gets the rip. Ooh. Carries the 10. Oh. Slap 10. Giving him the 35 pin lead now over Kirker. He's hungry. He's throwing it good. Going to prove us all wrong. He's the only guy not picked. That wouldn't be <laughs> the first time that ever happened. <laughs> shows what the uh, shows what the announcers know. Thanks everybody for tuning in once again. We're here in Woonsocket, Rhode Island, and John got that strike. He's hit that lane twice now. And we're here with Robert Toth. Robert adding 500 to this event. Thank you so much for that sponsorship, Robert. You're so welcome. Uh, just love it. Love these guys. And, of course, hey uh, girls. Kenny Keegan. Kenny Keegan adding money to this event as well. We've got to thank him for that. And like you said earlier, Jeff was here down from uh, New Hampshire. And Jeff does so much for Neva in bowling. And we're going to two different Jeff Dawson centers. So can't wait for that. Jeff Barden Center, excuse me. So here's Webb down eight on a strike with a chance to take the lead here on 19 and 20. And here's Kirker with a desperately needed double attempt. And pretty good shot. Gets it. Get him back in the match. Somewhat still 25 down with Elsis looking very strong. Big shot here for Webb. For the lead. Ooh. That's left again. That's two, that's two left shots in a row in that lane for him. Elsis a super senior looking strong and Bob Green, the super senior as well. So, would never know it by the shape that both these guys are in. You'll notice uh, Elsass shoes. He's got a, an old pair of Lynn shoes, a white one and a blue one. I love the Lynn's. They were my favorite. And it's funny because uh, last tournament he was here, he left them here. No way. And can't get the trip oh. four, which is going to give. So I have a question. And he begged me to ship the shoes to him. Oh. Really? To because where? To it, uh, wherever he lives, wherever in he Connecticut or somewhere. Oh, okay. You know, now that you say that, yeah. I, I left my entire accessory yeah. bag in Keene one year, and Jeff bought and shipped it to my house. Wow. But I right. think Absolute. it was a superstitious thing, though, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. my question is, I know when we bowl the two doubles tournaments in the same weekend, if you win on Saturday, you're grandfathered in on Sunday. Yes, um, sir. That's right. I'm pretty sure Elsis is a non-champ. Is he? Can he still bowl the non-champ tournament if he wins this? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but I don't know actually. That's a good. That's a, I think for a single, no, I don't think so. 
We have I'm to looking on. I don't think I'm so. I'm looking on Bullneba.com. I don't see his name. I'm pretty sure he's number one. I don't think he would be able to. We have to call the Bull. He would uh, have a title. The Neba Ball Legal Department. We would. <laughs> we need our staff. We need our staff rules analysis. I would see ask you. Becky that question. Um, I'm going to say no because it's a singles event. I that's. It's not like there's doubles, you know, and the, and the issues with double is is. Uh there's just no. It's no. A there's no, normally not a circumstance 10. where this would happen because normally right. the non-champs on Saturday and the, the right. champions tournaments on Sunday, right? That's but right. This is a new unique. Yeah, usually thing it's the where other we had way a senior around. and a non-champs right. in the same weekend. That's right. Yeah, we'll have non-champs in the TOC later on this year. You're right. In November. Right. But if you win the non-champs on Saturday, you can bowl the tournament champs on Sunday because uh, and you're you get eligible. a free entry by the right. way. But that's right. But here's Becky right here. Becky, we have a question. And now, as soon as you said that, Elsa ah, just well went two, four, two so four ten. If Tim Elsa wins this tournament, can he still bowl the non-champs tournament, or is he out? No, I don't think it's so. It's never been discussed. No, it's just a status. It's not like doubles. Yeah, no. I just just crossed my mind. That's all. I'm like. Someone already asked us. Oh, okay. So, so I would like to point out that this may be the first time Becky's voice has actually been on the live stream, even though it's on the you know it's overheard in the back. Yes. <laughs> She will not take up the microphone ever. Thank I've you, never Becky. I've never gotten her to do it. Once. She did it once? Okay. I didn't know. Was Ooh. I here? I don't think I was here. Was it with me? Anyway, she's trying to remember. It's Thank probably you, Becky. Probably with Forey. Forey probably got you to do it. So now this Elsa's match just got very, very interesting. Yes. So now let's see. If John does not strike, he'll only be down by nine. If he does hit here, he takes the lead by one, Kirker. Huge shot by John in the seventh. And by the way, seven pin match here on 19 and 20. With Webb unable to double. And Green with the only double in the match. And both guys clean. Ooh. And now there's a bucket by Bob Green. 3-5. Couldn't get it to come back. So talk about a nip and tuck match here on 19 and 20. And here's Kirker for the lead. Taking his time. And oh, oh, carry wow. that 10 pin, baby. Wow. Nudge that out of there. One pin lead now yep. for John Kirker. Bo Burton would have said, That's why you put power and revolutions on a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's right. Get the nudge 10. <laughs> Actually, I heard John. I was at a pro tournament that he bowled, and I, he called he called that kind of a leaner ten a different name once, which I can't repeat. But huh. <laughs> it starts with an S. <laughs> was that out in Jackson? It was an S ten. No, it was somewhere. I forget where it was, but it was one of the few tour events I went. And here's John for a bigger lead, and gets it back. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> Goodness! He gets wow. the roller. The weak. Crumbling bucket seven pin to go right after that nudging ten. Not exactly dominating strikes by Kirker, but getting the job done. And now, all of a lead. sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, he leads by 11. Whereas Elsa's had this match well in hand. He was 35 up. And great shot there by Webb. Let's see if he can put a good shot together on this left lane. He has never missed on the right lane, and he has three misses on the left. And he's never even sniffed the pocket his last two shots. Let's see what Webb can do on this left lane. There's Elsa's beautiful release. Never, no doubt about that one. He's not going to go quietly, yep. Elsa's. All right, let's watch Webb here. This is a go-ahead shot for uh, Webb. Yeah, he'd be up by five. He's down five, he'd go up five. Not exactly a Dutch deuce going. Maybe he doesn't want to ruin that. Well, that's a much better shot. It's right. Ooh. Yeah, week 10, though. Got it to the pocket, at least. See, now he moves so far left because he pulled the last two. Now he's too deep, right? So how many times have we done that just to get it to the pocket? And Webb with that amazing three-quarter Axis tilt. It's just good on so many different patterns. Elsus oh. knew that was left off his hand. And That's trouble for him. Ill-fated and ill-timed beak shot for the six pin. 
213 maximum now for Elsis. And John Kirker right now at a 214 pace. So Elsis will definitely need help from John here to get back in this match. And John can lock this up really with the first one in count. We'll do it. And Green gets to keep his five pin lead. And this match going down to the wire. So pretty good matches here for the seniors and super seniors. And it's right down the oil. Laid off. Yeah. Now if I threw a shot like that, it would have snapped through the beak, but he was ten he threw what, that ten to hard. six maybe on that one. Yeah. And you see a layoff on the back. Yeah. That's a urethane. Great shot by Green. And now Green can really take charge here if he can put one to get put a double together. Uh oh. There's John got that one oh away right and goodness. comes up for a two ten. Even though he had the lead. Unless he can make this, he's gonna lose it. Seventy one, that'll give him eighty, and that will if he gets nine out. Yeah, with the county lost the lead. Yeah. Elsis will have a three pin lead going into the tenth. Oh, what a topsy-turvy match this is. Yeah, Kirk needs to convert this one. I would think I would think he's going to go for it. I don't believe he's going to try to make it. Pretty good shot by Bob. Beautiful shot there. He loved that release. How smooth was that release, guys? Great shot by Bob Green. And here's the match over here. And he needs some hook. So give him nine out. 180, wow. so 210 max for Kirker, 213 max for Elsis. Elsis, three pin lead. He takes it on the bench. Cannot be shut out because John got one a little bit right. So as dry as we think they are, guys, there's OB. You get it too far right, don't hit it. It ain't coming back. I would have to say Webb needs to put a double together here in a oh big yeah. way. And again, Great keeps shot. his Dutch alive. By striking on the right lane, <laughs> we just said we just said you're keeping your Dutch alive, Billy. Yeah, that's just what he wants. That's exactly what he wants to hear. So, and here's Kirker Ooh. four pin, two zero so zero max for Kirker. So Elsa's have to fill twenty and uh, Elsa's yeah Elsa's Elsa gonna need needs to like nine spare nine fill eighteen. Yep. Yeah, he just has to fill eighteen. So we'll see. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see what Exciting happens. Exciting matches, guys. These are great matches. Can't ask for any better than this. And right after this, we'll move the trusty Mevo. Yeah, that one faster. No oh way. way. <laughs> flush eight. No. Stone eight. Flush eight. Unbelievable shot by Webb. Best shot of a match by far when he needed it so desperately. And he leaves a stone eight. Oh, my God. That is just wrong. Ugh. Good cover there by Webb, but good Lord. That was painful. Such a great shot. Now it's 2-0-0 for Webb with a strike. Now, let's not give it to him yet. No, he's still no, going to uh, have to. Green still has to mark. Still has to. No. He doesn't have to mark, but he has to get oh, like he needs nine yeah, eight on the first out. ball. Yeah, actually, yeah. Eight, one maybe. You're right, because he doubled. Sorry. Right, he would yeah. only lose 33 in count yeah. if he goes nine miss, right? He's got 35 to play with. Yep. So, uh, so eight one yeah, would be good enough. Eight one would do it, sure. Kirk throws 199. And My Webb God. has not struck once. 0 for, on that left 0 lane. for 6. 0 for 6. Couldn't even get the Dutch. 5 for 5 on the other lane. Sheesh. Elsass needs a mock for the win here. That flush eight was just painful. And uh, Billy knew it was his best shot of the match on his toughest lane. And just. Yeah, gets Elsa's has a couple screwed. of pins and uh, count to play with here. He needs like yeah. you know, nine spare, eight, nine, something mm -hmm. like that. Eight spare, nine. Something in the pocket. And here it is. That's left, I think, guys. Uh oh, oh it holds off wow. for a trip four. Elsass goes to the Tim finals. Elsass in the finals against. Bob Green, assuming Bob stays out of the disaster zone here. And we will take our two favorites, which would be Kirker 
and That's Webb. That's why they play the game. Strike them off the map and go with Elsis and Green. And then Mr. And that's going to lay off. No. Oh, no. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Almost real trouble Oof. there for Bob Green. But nine's going to be enough. That's going to put him in the final because now he's at 203. So Bob Green against Tim Elsis in the final. Elsis just the formality now. And gets it straight at it. Gets the double. And congratulations to Tim, non-champion. About to put himself out of a job for the rest of the weekend if he wins. But I'm sure he'll take it. Hope he didn't book a room already. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and Bob Green covering the four pin. Good problem to have, though. Six pin, excuse me. He's there. And what did I get on that? 40 to 1, 50 to 1? Uh, big on the long odds, yeah. my friend. Long <laughs> so odds, baby. Long odds. You're going to you'll be able to make a, 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 I think you'll be able to afford new lanes with after there that bet. Go. So I think you're ready to go, baby. All set. It's only fair. It's only justice that our host and sponsor uh, gets his pick. So that's a good thing. So uh, right after the shot, guys, we're going to sign off. We'll be right back for this exciting final. And uh, what a great set of matches we're getting here, Gas. Eh? And good shot there. Okay, guys, wow. we'll be back in about five minutes for the final. See you in a bit. See you, Charlie.